Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's card I'm going to use some old school um, papers from an old Stampin' Up! Halloween set and I'm also going to show you how to put together all the pieces for the Honeybee Stamps um, House Builder die set and I love this. I have never used this before. I'd never um, bought any other Honeybee Stamps product before and so this is one of the new new things that I've bought and this along with the barn which is in a previous video um, are my new favorites <laughs> so, and there's loads you can do there's lots of add-ons for these as well so you'll see that coming up soon because I have to have them so for the um, basically I've cut two I've cut the base of the house three times twice out of white cardstock and once out of the pattern paper I happen to have um, some brick style paper brick effect paper um, in that Halloween set it's an old Stampin' Up! Halloween set uh, paper set and then there's this funny little thing that you fold in half and that becomes the hinge between the the base of the card and the top part of the card so you, essentially you're creating a, a shaped card <clears throat> out of this and it all comes in all these pieces come in the die set so I didn't use anything else from anywhere else just the die set for this so I folded that in half and put some strong adhesive on both sides and then I took one side off stuck it to one half of the house and then I'm lining up both houses together and because it's a small piece at the top it just folded flat as I brought those two together um, so very easy to make the base of the card and this is a it will fit in a standard A2 size envelope um, the barn I don't think will because I think that's a bit taller but this house will fit in a, an A2 a standard envelope basically or an A2 envelope I should say so I'm just getting lots of strong adhesive onto what is my brickwork of my house you could use a stencil for this you could use uh, texture paste you could do all sorts of things for your the texture of the house itself and I know that Honeybee also has brought out some stencils with much smaller um, like brickwork and different things you can do for like the roof of the house and that um, they brought out stencils that you can use for that but because I didn't have those I used my scoreboard and every quarter of an inch ish I um, I'm pretty sure it's quarter of an inch <laughs> I just ran a embossed line I used a scoreboard to use to make lines across those and then on this little white piece which is kind of like I guess the is it the the dormer of the house um, so the little window that'll be in the top of the roof in the, you know in the roof <clears throat> I used it on that as well just to give it some texture again and so that the roof looks like it's got some something going on <laughs> on it so it's not completely plain but again you could do this many different ways you can add stencils to it you can add your own texture to it all sorts of things and so I'm just going to start building up the house now this is actually really easy to put together really really easy um, all the pieces are for the most part self-explanatory there were a few pieces I'm still not sure what they for so I'll have to go back to honeybee stamps um, you know to their website and just sort of have a look to see what those pieces are for but for the most part and for the pieces I needed for this card because there's lots of them um, this was super easy super super easy and even on things like the door um, it's the door and the what's the other bit mostly the door it will actually emboss detail into it so it's very cool <laughs> very very cool so I've got my little chimney here now just bear in mind that where you put the chimney the top of the height of the whole house is a it will fit in an A2 but if you wanted your chimney to go a little higher then um, you'd need to put it in a bigger envelope just because it will stick out the top so. <laughs> and like I say there's lots and lots and lots of pieces so now we have the little um, picket fence um, and this will overhang and then there's these two funny shaped things these are like the I guess the shrubbery next to the next to the house and you can put them either side they will mirror each other there's two dies in there so they'll mirror each other so depending which way you put these they're like you know they'll like I say they'll mirror each other so you can but you can put them either way um, as long as you've cut one of each <laughs> obviously <laughs> um, and then I'm going to that was just to give me some idea of where to put the door um, 
and then I've got to I'm going to put the door on um, bear in mind you can do anything you can put you know your door to the left or the right or wherever you want um, I just wanted to do this and keep it quite simple <laughs> but there's a lot of pieces on this so and then there's even a, a little die for the steps and they fit right at the base of the door and then they sort of walk up so to speak um, it is very well thought of and then this teeny tiny little thing there's actually another piece that looks similar to this which I'm not sure if it's for the windows um, maybe somebody knows um, but this teeny tiny one uh, I feel like that goes at the top of the door is it like an extra um, like finishing touch or like an extra decoration for the top of the door um, I, I don't know if the other two actually I didn't think about it at the time whether they go on the side of the house of the door um, maybe they do that maybe it's for the windows I don't know <laughs> so, like I say there's a lot of pieces and I just I need to sort of go back to the website and just have a look and see what actually what you know what they're all for um, so yeah <laughs> so just getting some of the uh the, getting the fences on now obviously you can have your shrubbery in front of your fence little picket fences if you want um i chose to leave them behind just you know they're still it, it's funny because they all of this is flat none of this there's nothing on here that i'm going to raise with any foam adhesive and yet it looks very dimensional um, it's, very, it's very clever um, I've got a BG10 um, Copic marker just to these are the panels that will go for the well are used for the glass of the windows um, and that little oval one is for the door um, there's another piece that fits on the front door this little squiggly is the I suppose the the top curtain bit for the um, the window in the in well it's, it's another curtain piece there's two types of curtain so you've got this one um, which is kind of like a what I would say a cafe style curtain so you could have this on the bottom windows as well which is why it's longer um, so um, you know so that it'll fit on the base because the windows at the bottom are a bit bigger than the one at the top um, so you could have it fit on either or and so I decided to put it on the one that's going to go in the dormer and then um, I will get the curtains for the um the other the, the bottom windows i'll get those fixed on now and i've come in just slightly from the edge just so that you can see more curtain when you put the frame of the windows on um you don't have to do that but it, i just thought it made sense <laughs> at the time so and then i'll get the frames of the windows on and for the color palette I just used um, scrap bits of cardstock and I just sat and die cut in colors I thought would work together so you know I'm going for the sort of navy blue actually there's a house down the road from us <laughs> that I adore and it's got this navy and white thing going on and it's just so pretty so pretty it's like one of my favorite houses in the town <laughs> I live in. So, so yeah so just lining those windows up and then I will bring a, win a, a window I will bring a ruler in just to somewhat line it up a bit better just so they're somewhat straight because <laughs> you know me and straight lines I don't do straight lines um, I don't know I don't know I don't know how to do straight lines um, so I've got my bottom windows on and now I'm just going to get my dormer window on but look how cute it is it's coming together it comes together really really easily it's not difficult to put these pieces together yes some of them are tiny I will say and you will see the door handle in a minute um, very tiny but it's it's very easy to put together they're not difficult to, to line up they're not difficult to you know get like all the windows together or the doors or whatever it is um, for the um, these little boxes that are like the flower boxes I've added some adhesive because there's lots of layers of cardstock on the window I thought we needed to raise so there is some foam on here but not um, and this is the only foam I believe I know I said that didn't have any foam but actually this is the only foam I believe that we have on this card and it's just because there's so many layers of cardstock if I tried to stick the flower boxes flat it it would have laid a bit wonky so I decided this was probably the best thing to do here um, there's also two style two sizes of flower um, 
you know the, the green shrubbery bit so I've put the little one in the top window just because it's a smaller window and then for these little pot plants next to the door um, I've stuck the them inside as if they're like those ball hedge type um, flower pots but there is actually and I'll show you in a minute there is actually a teeny tiny little like uh, like the bark bit of the the tree so it can be like those little I don't know what the topiary trees um, so you can actually add the the like the stem I don't, I don't know if it's called stem but the the base of it um, the trunk of that little topiary, topiary tree um, I didn't <laughs> so, um, and then as you can see the door handle um, I cut that out of some gold uh, cardstock and it, it's super tiny so. <laughs> but it was pretty easy to put on there and then the flowers too they are they're also little dinky flowers but they have to be to, to be able to fit into this whole little like scene I guess um, they have to be little so I've just got two shades of like a lilac color um, and I'm just mixing it between the bottom boxes and the top one um, just to get some some flowers and color on there and then that is the stem or the the tree trunk I guess for the topiaries if if you wanted to put that in there um, like I said I wasn't going to do that and then because my flower boxes seem to be still a little like wonky like they weren't sitting nice and flush I just added a bit of um, foam extra foam behind the greenery part of it just to um, like stabilize it a bit but it was just an added thing afterwards but yeah <laughs> and I didn't put a sentiment on this card either because I just feel like you could use this for a lot of things again um, obviously new home is, is the most obvious but it could just be a thinking of you card or a you know just because kind of card so I I left it blank but I um, also used some Nouveau in white blizzard for the flowers just to give a little bit of blingy <laughs> shine <laughs> and that was the only thing I did on it other than you know putting it all together so that's it really really easy um, I mean I was lucky I found the brickwork style otherwise I was going to use one of my stencils to make you know to create the brickwork um, just because that's what I thought would look nice you could also do the embossed lines like I did for the roof you could do that on the bottom part of the house as well for more of a beachy look um, but there's loads you can do with this and there's loads of different add-ons that they've brought out as well so um, yeah stay tuned I will be back with another one with a um, one of the add-ons so I will see you in the next one guys Bye.